Back on the pig trail, and we're visiting, as always, with our recruiting insider. That is Richard Davenport from Whole Hog Sports and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette RD. Let's begin with the basketball guy. And a lot of guys in this report uh, play basketball. Chris Moore from the 2020 class has an offer from Arkansas, 6'6", six, six from West Memphis. And I understand this guy had national attention even before entering high school. Yeah, I, I tell you what, the thing I like about Chris is his effort. He gives 110, 120%. You hear that often, but he's a guy that truly gives maximum effort at all time. You combine that along with his uh, skill set, I mean, you got something special. And the thing is, he has an uncle that's 7'3", and he's projected to grow another four inches. If he gets to 6'8", 6'10", he, he's a guy that could potentially score in double digits and get double digit rebounds in college. That's big time stuff there. All right. Uh, also from 2020 and a guard, Gerald Dokes from Jacksonville, 6'1", offered by the Hogs. And he has a complete game. Is that right, Richard? That he does. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a true shoot, shooting guard. He's probably got the, one of the quickest first steps I've seen. He reminds me of B.J. Young, former Razorback uh, guard. Uh, he's so explosive, very hard to, to defend. And uh, he, he can hit the outside jumper, go to the basket. And he's a guy that really is money when the game is on the line. He is, he, he's a guy that you, you're probably going to see wherever he goes to college, hit some game-winning buckets. <laughs> All right, another one from 2020. Devontae Davis, also from Jacksonville, 6'4", handles the ball well, can slash and score and can also flat out shoot it from the outside. And I understand he's really, really high on the Razorbacks. Yeah, he says Arkansas is definitely one of his uh, top schools. And then you, you figure that with from, from an in-state guy. But like you said, he's a slasher guy, can handle the ball extremely well. Uh, definitely was uh, very happy about getting the offer from Arkansas. And all three of these guys play for the 16 and under Woods elite team. And uh, they're, they're, they're a trio that's played, played together for quite some time. And, uh, Hey, that may translate to college. We'll see. Let's go up front. Jason Jatobo, class of 2019 from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And Jason has an offer from Arkansas, has a really good feel for the game. We're talking about a rim protector here, RD. 6'11", I saw him about two weeks ago. 6'11", 290 pounds. I'll be honest with you, I think he may even be beyond 300. I mean, he is a very big young man, very thick. Uh, and a guy that uh, moves well for his size, uh, definitely trying to uh, lose some weight and uh, firm up, but he's got, he's got a nice game right now. I think his upside is the most exciting thing about him. He has a tremendous potential to really, really elevate his game once, uh, once he gets a little more weight off him and continues to improve his game. I'll switch to football. Class of 2019, Jack Buford, 6'5", 325 from St. Louis. He will make an official visit this weekend. That he will, and uh, he, he's a guy that uh, Dustin Fry, the offensive line coach, has worked hard uh, to get get in the ball game with him. And obviously, getting that official visit's huge. He's the uh, nephew of uh, Bobby Joe Edmonds, former former Razorback. Has heard a lot of good things about uh, Fayetteville and the uni university and the Arkansas fan base too. So uh, he's a guy that uh, to keep an eye on in the future. Definitely a priority for Arkansas. Class of 2018, Christian Lofton from Pasadena, 6'5", 335, also will visit this weekend. And he could arrive next winter as a mid-year addition. Is that right, R.D.? Yeah, he could. I mean, he, he's, a guy, he's an interesting story. He played defensive line until about midway through last season, then switched to offensive guard. And now Arkansas and several other schools are on him late. And it may be too late for the other schools, though. He comes from the same school as the Arkansas defensive end signee, Dorian Gerald. And Dorian has told him great things about Arkansas. He's very excited about coming to Fayetteville. He doesn't have an offer right now, but if he gets an offer during his visit and everything goes well uh, this weekend, uh, very likely he'll be a Razorback. Okay, I want to give you 20 seconds here to close on the graphics that are used on social media by Arkansas football. I know that's been a big thing you've talked about in the paper. No doubt. Uh, you you got to give uh, them a lot of credit for uh, the, the graphics they send out. The kids love what uh, Cody Vinson and, 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 the, and, and they do. Uh, it, it definitely gets the attention of the kids, and it's a great way to market their program. All right, R.D., as always, with some great insight there on Arkansas recruiting, Richard Davenport from Whole Hog Sports and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, a sit-down conversation with a program that is having a heck of a year. Arkansas women's golf, Alyssa Orange, has that story after this.